Hey everyone, just wanted to show you how I print heat transfer vinyl. I know I did a video on how to apply heat transfer um, paper onto a shirt, but this is how to print it. So this is printable heat transfer vinyl paper. Um, so what I want to do is obviously put the paper I need into my printer. Um, and here I'm using the Jet Pro SS, and this is specifically for white shirts. Um, they do have a different kind for dark shirts. This is specifically for the light colored shirts. Um, so make sure the printable side, obviously dep depending on your printer, is facing down so when it prints, it prints up like that. Um, then we can head on to the, to the computer. And this is the image I'm going to be printing. And I'm going to want to mirror that image. So go ahead and click that. And plug your printer in. And go ahead and click continue there. And send to printer. And it's a little bit different setup than when you would be sending a image over to your Cricut. Let's let this focus on there. There we go. Print to PDF. Um, I always forget which one this is. I'm using the Canon. I hope it's this one. I have like three of them installed on here. Um, make sure it's reversed. There we go. And there we go. Started printing now. Um, so then after this is done printing, it'll ha you'll have um, your other screen up there. Let me just show you quick. You'll have uh, your other mat right here that's going to pop up. So then you're just going to want to connect your Cricut machine to that. Um, okay, so this is printed. And this is what I had printed. Um, so what you're going to do is just kind of cut around cut around the area. You can kind of see um, there's kind of like a uh, having a hard time focusing here. It's kind of like a multicolor like right around her body here. There we go. If you can see like right around her hair you can see it. That's the line that you're going to want to cut on. Um, if you do have any white in there, I mean it's fine because you're, print or you're layering it on a white shirt. But it's just going to show up a little bit differently than the material material that you're using. So just try to cut as close as you can um, to the actual image. Um, yeah, that's it. And I can link the video on how to apply it to the shirt in the bottom box below. Thanks for watching.